I'm Surya. I'm a fourth year life sciences student at Ahmedabad University. Uh, my name is Paul Schmidt. I'm a professor of biology at the University of Pennsylvania. So let me begin with the questions. Mm -hmm. um, first off, uh, when I, I listened to your talk today at the conference, and uh, what I find interesting is in all the different uh, lectures that were given by the different faculty and professors and everyone, it was, it was interesting to see how the results is one thing, but the process was the other. So what is your thought on more of the how to do things rather than the final results of it? Um, when it comes to anything related to research, is the outcome and result really as important as the way you're doing it? And also, for example, if you don't get what you wanted, right, you hypothesize something and it doesn't work out, uh, what's your take on your viewpoint of science and when you perform research? Okay, so uh, for me, uh, a well-designed experiment is testing a hypothesis and it doesn't matter how the results come out as long as you can test your hypothesis, right? So we try to do experiments where we have a fundamental central hypothesis, get a null, have the alternative, and no matter which way the data come out, it's very informative with respect to something that is of fundamental interest for us. So, of course, you get into things where maybe this alternative outcome is more interesting to the scientific community than another, but um, if you're careful about the way you do things and you're addressing questions that are impactful and significant, I think that it's informative either way and you can, you can make a narrative out of it. So that's what we try to do. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So um, my next question, I, I call this term um, biology translators. Mm -hmm. So I feel that as researchers, um, you have to have the ability to be able to explain something complex in easier terms. Because uh, I feel like what we, no matter how complex our case the research becomes, how do you get that to the layperson of public? What, what is I think that? practice is really important, um, and it's things are changing now. But um, so I mean, I think in the past it was much more okay to sort of just do your work, go to a conference where you're only talking to people at a very very specific mm -hmm. subdiscipline. Yeah. Yeah, but I think everyone's recognizing how important it is to have science communication with the public, whether it's the lay educated public or the public at large. What it doesn't really matter. You should be facile, in you know, with interacting and being able to explain stuff. So, I think it's a skill, just like anything else. Some people are better at it than others innately, but you can definitely work on it, and it's really important, right? Because, but it takes practice, just like just like writing takes practice. Yeah research design and sort of all this, everything takes practice and we do it and, you know, as long as people aren't afraid to engage with the public and sort of do this, but it's definitely something that's really important. If you can't take your complex, crazy stuff mm -hmm. and give it in a two minute thing about like, why is that important? Why do you care about it? Da, 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 then I think you're, will struggle more. So it's, I think it's a very important skill. Yeah, I definitely agree, especially when um, we, m most of the time when we sit in these kind of conferences, we are undergraduate students. So for us to be able to, for that to reach us all the way from someone who's doing the, his work in the lab yeah. level, it's pretty impressive how we're able to understand humans a little bit. Yeah. It makes a difference in a way. So. But you, you also have to know the audience, right? So this yeah. is a this is a conference of evolutionary biologists, yes. right? So I don't have to, I would at least have to dumb it down. Well, it's not dumb it down, but it's like I don't have to go through, you know, like, oh, this is what natural selection is or this. So I, where you, your point of departure can yeah. be different depending on what your audience is. But yeah, you should still do it. It's still, you can see the, the breadth and diversity yes. of what people do. Yes. And it's, you know, and so if I did something, like if I was just talking to Drosophila people who do genomics, it might be slightly different than if I were talking to a general audience. Yeah. Yes. And to my last question, um, as a young <clears throat> body undergraduate student also going into research and for other researchers as well, what do you think the mindset should be from us? Is it more like curiosity or what do we go into? Do we put more pressure on ourselves? How do we? What are your, um, what are your, what is your advice? Well, so the biggest thing that that I can say is, I mean, I understand. I, I it, you know, it was a while ago when I was sitting in your spot, but it's, um, I remember very well, like career decisions and the pressure yeah. that you put on yourself. You have external pressure, but if you can have exposure and open mindedness enough to get experience in the various ways to do things, figure out what you're interested in, what you're passionate about and what you think matters. And if that intersects in research and biology or science or whatever it is, then I think everything else will just be sort of secondary. Do you know what I mean? So it has to be something that's like internal, 
It has to be something that you're driven to do because of your own passion, whether it's because it's what you're interested in or you think it's really important or whatever it is, but that's the most important thing. You can't teach that, you can't, it's like hard to acquire. It has to be something that's just about who you are. And if that matches, then it's great and people do really well. If it's something, you know, where, it was the same thing I think with professional schools, right? Like if, you know, okay, so my parents want me to be a lawyer, but like I don't want to be a lawyer, so, but then I go through it and I'm probably gonna be miserable. Yeah. That's just my own opinion. Yeah. But that's, I think, the really the most important thing. And you can see, you know, even in like the senior faculty yes. there doing this stuff, like, they're just passionate about this. They're curiosity driven, yes, but their primary thing is like, this is just what they want to know, right? And then you get to all the other things in terms of the communication and the results and stuff, but it follows from interest. Awesome, that's great, yeah. that's great. Thank you so much.